have <clears throat> quite a few friends that are in dire situations right now. Um, and I feel so helpless. My heart goes out to each and every one of you. I, when we get injured like this, we're discarded. Um, a lot of us are abused horribly going through this. And the usual solutions, the usual answers won't work for us. You know, um, I couldn't have been moved into a facility or institutionalized or, or, or anything. I, I needed to be protected. I needed to be in my little bubble here so my nervous system could heal. Um, and the world just doesn't get that. You know, the, the typical treatment for someone who was injured like I was, and I'm going to talk about me because I can't talk about you, okay? But I know you can relate. Their typical answers, the world's typical answer for someone who has been injured or behaves like we do, it, it is a death sentence for us. There, I said it. I knew if I got removed from my home or if my husband went away or got taken away or whatever because I wouldn't have survived. I'm not telling you not to reach out for help. I, I'm telling you my story, okay? Being institutionalized, they would have forced medicated me and it would have killed me. Um, making me try to survive on my own would have killed me. Um, <laughs> going to a rehab would have killed me. Yeah, there was no other option than for me to stay here in this room and just buckle down and and try to survive, okay? Try not to rock the boat, try not to draw any attention to myself, try not to complain or upset anyone. Um My quality of life <laughs> it was just so bad and I'm watching my friends go through this you know the bullying the, the I don't know <laughs> I never in my life thought I would have to witness what I've had to witness over the last seven years, and it doesn't stop. No, we can't change other people. We, we can't, you know. There, we can offer the information and, and try, but we can't change them. So what I had to do was learn how to function amongst amongst them, you know, uh, um, amongst the misunderstanding and the ignorance. Um, it's abusive. I'm just going to say it. What we experience is abuse from... Every facet, I mean, I've had, I have had to call every organization there is out there, and you've seen I have gotten zero help. 
my friends are all doing the same. Um, it, it's it even the domestic violence hotline. <laughs> They'll tell you to go to a shelter, you know, or have have whoever it is arrested. Well, you know, some of us, that person's the only person we have to help us, period. Period. So we have to live under different standards, I guess. I had to remain grateful for whatever was offered to me and try to work with what I had. I still am. Nobody the shoulda, coulda, wouldas, or they should be doing this, or they should be doing that. They don't have to do anything. And yeah, buy yourself a case of Preparation H and get ready to bend over a lot because I've, I've had to pick my battles. You know, um, I cannot stand on my own two feet yet. I'm more for fortunate than a lot. I, uh, I have a partner that started to wake up during this, you know, um, but still it's like people, people don't get this and they, they're not going to unless they experience it. And I think that goes with everything. You can try to explain a toothache ache to someone all day long, but if they've never had a toothache, they're not going to get it. The, the denial runs deep. Um, people run. P I scared people, you know. We're in fight or flight. Yeah, I was scary. They don't understand what's going on. They're being told we're crazy. We need to be hospitalized, medicated, you know. Um, the whole nine yards when the fact is we need to be loved and protected and that we need to be helped off these poisons. We don't need more of them. That is what is doing this to us in the first place. <laughs> but good luck getting anyone to hear that. I'm tired. You know, I... <sighs> I'm not going to change anybody's perspective. My hope now is that, you know, maybe when I'm all better and I'm doing okay, that these people will wake up. You know, but <laughs> I'm not even holding my breath on that. I, uh, It's like the olden days, the way they treated the lepers, you know? This is the craziest stuff I've ever witnessed or experienced in my entire life. This is true horror movie, Twilight Zone. But we can make it through this. We we really can. I. <laughs> you have to change your perspective as well. You know I am. Um, do I like the position I'm in? Absolutely not. But I'm also grateful that I have the help and that I am in any kind of position. You know. Um, I could be homeless and on the streets. I could be six feet under. <laughs> I allow myself time during the day, I, you know, when that pressure cooker starts to build up because we're so hurt by the rejection and 
just this whole thing is just so when it starts to build up, I allow myself to feel it and cry, and but only for a little while now, because I'm tired of that looping. There is no solution. You know, the solutions will come to us somehow. I was protected through all this, and I still am okay. I'm okay. I, I, I'm as safe as I can be under the circumstances. And uh, that wasn't, I don't have a dime to my name, no family. I have my husband. <laughs> There's no doctors backing me up. I, I, don't, I don't have any of that. And somehow, I'm still here. You know, no, it's not okay what's happening to us. It isn't okay. But there's not anything we can do to change the people that are doing this. You know, we, all we can try to do is survive it. And you know, all the beautiful suggestions that people who are not in this situation give, they don't fit, and then we look like we're being difficult. Right? Breathing, keep believing, and know that you're not alone and that you're very loved. Keep fighting, okay? <laughs>